Hey guys, it's Pamela. <sighs> so Julie Cuts is doing this swipe in the blooms now. <laughs> yeah. Said she got it from the horse's mouth. I guess that's as good as any. Cat's out of the bag, horse's mouth, it's all the same. Okay, I'm gonna do a swipe. I took about two weeks off for Thanksgiving, didn't I? <laughs> That's what happens when you cook and eat too much. So I bought some new paints. They came in a few days ago. And... Bought some new pigments. Some chameleon pigments. Uh, Artist Till Death was talking about those the other day, and it's funny. I just happened to had ordered the same ones that she was talking about. They're uh, made for nail polishes, and I had mine for about a week, and I don't know what to do with them yet. This, uh, I hope there's not too much glare, and you can see this one. Is like a bronze with a pink reflex. Can you see that? That would help if I. So cool. But in order for that to really show up, really, really show up, you need a dark background. So. Yeah, I tried doing my pillow paint in black, and that didn't work. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, I should have thinned this paint out first, but we'll see what happens. That's weird. Uh, this is... um. Phalo Turquoise by Deco Art. And I did one a few minutes ago, a swipe. So, I don't know. I didn't use enough paint, I know that. So we're gonna try it again. And, um, Oh, that was Master's Touch Neon Yellow. This is Joe Sonia's, um, one of my new paints, new, new to me. Joe Sonia di Dioxazine Violet and one of the blues. I'm sorry. It's Blue Violet and Dioxazine Violet. And then I, I'm spilling, spilling off the edge. Whoop. <laughs> That's that thick, it just held it there. And this is my Lucas Krill with water. And I put like a eighth of a teaspoon of Floetrol in there. So Oh God, that was too much. What are you doing? Just pour it out, okay. Oop, okay. Oh. Oh, 
he needs the gloves on. Oh. I'm afraid I'm going to need more. Just to be safe. <laughs> I really screwed that one up. Somehow I'm dragging the color with me. Okay. This is a heat gun on super low. See? Not enough to, um, not hot enough to pop bubbles, but just to bring some of that varnish up. But, well, The only thing I have handy. I know, I know. You're like, no, don't do it. It's ridiculous. I've got gloves sitting right here. Okay, put my gloves on. At least I got rid of the blob. It looks like it blends in more. Could just leave it like that. I think I'm gonna leave it. There we go. I'll have the ingredients in the uh, description below. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, I forgot to do my pan video for you close up. I want to give a shout out to Jenny Post. She's doing the blooms now, and she's doing, um, she did some Christmas bulbs on her last video, and they're just phenomenal. I think the key to those bulbs is that the paint uh, flows over the sides and it really opens up the cells, and she just does a great job at that. Also, Jen Neal, Jen Neal's channel. You're due out for a video, girl. <laughs> Am I one to talk? And, of course, Julie Cuts. <laughs> 
Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.